For analytical balance, it's broken down into um, three parts. Oh, and there are rumors going around that there are no write-up pages for analytical balance. Um, those are true. You're going to create your own. Uh, it's not a big deal, though. You'll have three pieces of paper. One piece of paper, do problem one. On the second piece of paper, do all of problem two. We don't want you to scrunch this up. Uh, we actually want you to draw a diagram, kind of like this on the board, and, and label it like the one that's in your book. And do all the math right there, write everything down, um, be real careful to make it neat. Um, part one, the, the objective is to find the mass of this meter stick. Now, you could put it on the mass balance and find the mass that way. And in fact, do that and write that down. We're going to try to validate this mass by hanging it from a pole. And then we're going to hang a mass over here. And the amount that we hang over here will be able to determine, to determine with torques what the mass of the stick is. The mass of the stick is happening right here at the, the center of gravity. Now, the best way to find the center of gravity, it's not necessarily at 50, is to take this off and then simply move your fingers in until you get it to balance. And wherever that is, that's the center of gravity. Okay, it might not be at 50. Use the real center of gravity for your calculations. A common mistake is to think that in the, in the manual, this force right here, this vector, is an actual mass. It's not. It's the center of gravity of the whole stick. It's as if the whole stick is operating right here. So you're just going to hang this. Don't forget that these mass hangers um, are 50 grams each. So when you hang the hanger from the stick and add masses, you're supposed to add masses until you get it to balance. When you get it to balance, do your calculations.